Why are solid state batteries considered the holy grail for EVs? Well, you know that the lithium ion battery has been developing over the past 30 years and has hitting a point of plateau in terms of the theoretical limit of energy density. And when you try to push the limit, yes, you can still getting one or two percent incrementals, but it's getting really volatile and dangerous. So we're trying to develop a technology that goes beyond the theoretical limit for lithium ion battery. So because of lithium metal that we're using in the battery that has the highest capacity of the, as anode material and also has the, I would say the, the best energy density for the battery as a whole, that's why it will be able to cross the theoretical limit for the lithium ion batteries. Solid state batteries, the dream that keeps slipping away. For over a decade, the dream of solid state batteries has been sold as the holy grail of electric vehicle technology. Ultra high energy density, lightning fast charging, unmatched safety, industry leaders promised a revolution, a battery breakthrough that would render today's lithium ion technology obsolete almost overnight. But behind the press releases and investor hype lies a more sobering truth. At the 2025 China Automotive Forum, Wang Fang, the chief scientist at the China Automotive Technology Research Center, offered a rare moment of brutal honesty. Her message was simple and, for some, unsettling. Mass production of true solid-state batteries is still years away. Not one, not two, perhaps five, or even more. And here's why. The great solid-state illusion. The term, solid-state battery, has become the darling of automaker press conferences. The buzzword for future mobility. But even among experts, the definition remains murky. That's no accident. In May 2025, the China Society of Automotive Engineers issued a landmark ruling, Standard T, CSAE 434-2025. This regulation drew a hard line, and all solid-state battery must rely solely on solid electrolytes for ion conduction. No gels, no liquids, no hybrids. Suddenly, many so-called solid-state batteries weren't what they claimed to be. In reality, what automakers had been calling solid-state were often semi-solid or hybrid solutions. Clever marketing or deliberate misdirection? Either way, the industry's credibility took a hit. Four walls blocking the future. Wang Fang outlined four monumental challenges preventing solid-state batteries from hitting the road. Unclear ion conduction channels. Solid electrolytes lack the smooth ionic flow of liquid-based counterparts. Ensuring consistent, reliable conductivity through a rigid medium remains a scientific puzzle. Complex manufacturing processes. Even in controlled lab conditions, producing solid-state cells is difficult. Scaling that to millions of units per year? That's an entirely different beast. Safety risks at scale. Yes, solid-state batteries are safer, until they're not. Once their failure threshold is breached, they can react violently. And at mass production scale, even a 0.01% defect rate can spell disaster. Cost and yield problems. Right now, producing solid-state batteries costs over 1,200 yuan per kilowatt hour. More than three times the cost of advanced lithium-ion packs. High cost, low yield, and unstable reliability? That's not a recipe for mass market success. The result? Automakers may have overpromised. Some, possibly by design. Grand promises, and the real timelines. Many car makers continue to tout optimistic production dates for their so-called solid-state offerings. But let's take a closer look at the reality behind the marketing spin. Even in this carefully crafted list, few companies claim to be ready for true mass production before 2028. Many refer vaguely to small batches or vehicle trials. Translation? Testing, not selling. Why is the urgency fading? Five years ago, solid-state batteries were the golden ticket. The only real way forward for safer, longer-range EVs. But that landscape has changed, dramatically. Hybrid EVs are on the rise. In the first half of 2025, China saw plug-in hybrid and extended-range hybrid vehicle sales climb by 31.5% and 16.5%, respectively. These technologies now make up a major chunk of new energy vehicle, NEV, sales. Liquid lithium batteries are evolving. Take BYD's new flash charging platform, launched in March 2025. It delivers 400 kilometers of range in just 5 minutes. Zeker and Huawei? They've unveiled ultra-fast 1.5 megawatts charging solutions. 
These kinds of breakthroughs reduce the perceived need for solid-state solutions, at least in the near term. Battery swapping is going mainstream. NEO now operates over 3,000 battery swap stations across China. That's more than Xpeng and Li Auto's supercharger networks combined. Fast, clean, and automated, swapping sidesteps the need for fast charging infrastructure altogether. Solid-state batteries, once deemed essential, are beginning to look like optional upgrades. Luxuries for the few, not needs for the many. Cost. The elephant in the room. Let's talk money. Because in the EV world, price is power. According to Battery Intelligence, the cost of producing a solid-state battery currently exceeds 1,200 yuan per kilowatt hour. That's more than 3x the price of advanced LFP batteries dominating the Chinese EV sector. And that's before factoring in the billions already sunk into R&D. For the average automaker, solid-state batteries are a financial sinkhole, one that only the largest firms can afford to explore. Even if these batteries were technically ready, they'd launch in high-end, low-volume models. Mass market adoption? Still a distant dream. A shift in perspective. So where does this leave us? Not in despair, but in realism. The world's automakers aren't abandoning solid-state research. Far from it. But the tone has shifted from, coming next year, to, sometime after 2030. The marketing machine is slowing. The race towards solid-state has become a marathon, not a sprint. And frankly, the market is adjusting. In a world where plug-in hybrids offer 1,500 km ranges and battery packs charge in under 10 minutes, the urgency has faded. EV consumers aren't waiting for perfection anymore. They're buying what works, now. A commentator, Serg underscore Lukian, shared his opinion. Solid-state batteries are crucial for electric trucks, electric planes, next-gen consumer electronics, and so on. A higher price is justified in such applications. And then SS batteries will appear in cars, as happened with NMC batteries in Teslas. It actually makes sense. I think this person makes a good point. Solid-state batteries might not need to start in mass-market cars. It actually makes more sense for them to first appear in high-value, high-demand sectors like electric aircraft, long-haul trucks, or premium consumer electronics. In those applications, the higher cost is justified because energy density, safety, and weight are critical. Over time, as production scales and costs come down, just like what happened with NMC batteries in early Teslas, we could eventually see solid-state tech trickle down into regular EVs. So maybe the path forward isn't delayed, it's just evolving differently than expected. Final word. Hype meets reality. The future of EVs isn't a single technology. It's a battlefield of innovations, fast charging systems, range-extending hybrids, modular battery packs, and yes, eventually, solid-state batteries. But for now, despite the headlines and the glossy product videos, solid-state batteries remain a work in progress. A powerful idea, a critical frontier, but not yet a reality for your driveway. Wang Fang said it best, solid-state batteries may offer broader safety boundaries, but once those boundaries are crossed, the outcome is often worse than with traditional lithium cells. The revolution is still coming. It's just stuck in traffic. Subscribe for more deep dives on EV breakthroughs and battery tech. And remember, don't believe every production timeline you see.